Welcome back to Just the Tip Tuesday. Today, we're continuing our journey through the wonderful world of stock footage. Dun dun dun! Something I see editors and producers do a lot, and I'm totally guilty of this myself, is not having a plan. When they get a script, they rush to grab whatever clips they can from any number of sources and just use them to cover the sound bites in a very literal way. There's this notion that because it's stock footage and you didn't film it, that things like consistency and quality and storytelling don't matter, but they do. Make sure there's a through line with your footage. So instead of pulling a bunch of random clips and just making a compilation of them, look for clips that are similar and visual style that you could tell a story with, so pulling different angles, perhaps from the same shoot. On a lot of stock websites, if you like a clip, you can usually scroll down and see more from the same shoot by the same filmmakers. This way you can actually play with the footage and treat it as if you had filmed it as B-roll yourself. My two favorite stock sites of the moment are Dissolve and Film Supply. I just love the quality of the footage that I found on those sites. You can tell that professional filmmakers captured this footage because it's cinematic, beautiful, and there's a lot to work with. What about you? Do you have any favorite stock footage websites? How are you using stock footage? Do you have any questions about stock footage? If you do, leave us a comment down below and we'll be sure to answer them in a future tip. Thanks for watching.